Hello everyone, welcome to this video on characteristic table and equation excitation table for SR flip-flop. So as we know SR flip-flop will be having an inputs S and R and Q and Q bar are the outputs. So SR flip-flop will also be having a clock signal. So depending on the clock signal and S and R we are going to get Q and Q bar as outputs. This clock can be considered as a positive edge of clock means at the positive edge of the clock s of flip flop is going to give the output so quickly let us look at the two table when s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 s of flip flop output is a hold state means it will be holding the previous state of output q as its new state that's why we call it as hold state when s is 0 and r is 1 q will be 0 and q bar is equal to 1. q bar is always complementary to q. So when s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1, q will be 0. We call it as reset state. We call it as reset. When s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 0, q will be set to 1. So we call it as set state. And s is 1 and r is 1, we call it as invalid. We can't say what is the value of q and q bar. So we call it as invalid or we call it as high impedance state that is z. So now let us write excitation table and the characteristic table for SR flip-flop. Before going to that let us understand what is the difference between the true table, characteristic table and the excitation table. True table is that it shows all possible values of inputs correspondingly all possible values of expected outputs. So all the outputs and inputs we are going to get in the truth table. Coming to the characteristic table, this characteristic table gives the next state, next state of output in terms of the current state and the output of the device. What is excitation table then? Excitation table is that it gives the minimum number of inputs required to generate the next particular state of the device. So that is excitation table. The difference between the characteristic table and the excitation table is that here in this characteristic table it gives the next state in terms of the current state and the output. The excitation table is that it gives which are the inputs required to generate a particular state when the current state is known that is excitation table. So let us look into these with an example of SR flip-flop. So I have already explained the truth table of SR flip-flop. Here I am not considering Q bar. Why? Because Q bar is just an complementary to this Q. So for 0, 0 it is hold state. For 0, 1 it is 0. For 1, 0 it is 1. And 1, 1 it is invalid. Now let us write the characteristic table for this. While writing the characteristic table, what we need to do? We need to take the current state and also all the possible values of input. So here I have taken SR can be 0, 0 and when the current state is 0 means let us assume we will be having Q output is 0. At that time if we give S is equal to 0 and R is equal to 0 what happens it will hold that output means here in the next state QN plus 1 is the next state of output when we give these inputs when current state is this. So we are going to get 0 again why because it will be holding its output. When 0, 0 is the input at the time current output is 1 means again we are going to get 1 as output. It will be holding its state. Similarly for 0, 1 input when the current state is 0 irrespective of this SR flip flop is going to give 0. It will be depending on this S. Whatever S is there that will be the output. We call it as reset state. This is reset state. So we are going to get 0 here also. When current output is 1 and we are giving 0, 1 as input, still SR flip-flop gives 0. Similarly, when 0 is my current output and I am giving 1, 0 as the input of the SR flip-flop, it gives 1. That is set state. Similarly, when 1, 0 is the input and but current state is 1, it will again give 1 as output. And 1, 1 is the input and the current state of output is 0. The next state will be invalid. Here, whatever the current state is, 
if my input of sr flip flop is 1 1 it gives invalid state let me write it as x similarly again 1 1 input with the previous output or the current state is 1 again it is invalid so this is what the characteristic table of the sr flip flop for all the different combination of inputs and possible current states now we can write the characteristic equation for this so let us go with the k map i am taking s here and r and qn we need to use these three as inputs now we know these three and we are predicting what is the next state so if you put all these values to this k map we will be getting 1 1 1 x x here so let me group these so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so let us group these now so we can group these two as one group and we can group these four by taking the don't care into consideration so now this vertical group gives here ss get cancelled it is 0 0 this is 0 1 1 0 1 1 here it is 0 1 so this vertical group give you r bar r bar q n and this horizontal group four variable group gives yes yes is the result so yes plus r bar q n is the characteristic expression to generate q n plus one that is next state this is the characteristic expression now let us write the excitation table for this so excitation table we are going to write by using the current state and the next state when this is the current state i want to get the next state is also zero what i need to give as input that is excitation table similarly when my current state is one if i need to get the next state of output is zero what i need to get as input that is what the excitation table gives so to write this excitation table we need to look for characteristic table so here the first set of values here we have is 0 0 here in the characteristic table we need to look for where is q n q n plus 1 is 0 0 here it is 0 0 so you can see q n q n plus 1 is 0 0 for that we will be having 0 0 as s r similarly again here again we will be having 0 0 for q n q n plus 1 but here s and r are 0 1 so if you compare this one and this one we will be having s is equal to 0 here also s is equal to 0 here also so i am going to write s is equal to 0 and if you look at r r is 0 here and r is 1 here so we can't say 0 or 1 to r that's why i'm going to write it as unknown state that is x so coming to 0 1 now let us look at 0 1 here we have 0 1 combination at q and q bar and no other 0 1s here so for this 0 1 we can say s is 1 and r should be 0 so it is 1 and r is 0 now let us look at 1 0 here we have 1 0 this is 1 0 and there is no other 1 0 here so for 1 0 we will be having s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 so s 0 r 1 is the value now look for 1 1 here we have 1 1 in the second row also here it is 1 1 right so now if you look at the values s r 0 0 here here it is 1 0 so s is different here it is 0 here it is 1 so let me write it as x don't know and r is 0 here also 0 here also let me write it as 0 itself so this is the excitation table for sr flip flop now by using this excitation table and the characteristic table we can convert one flip flop to other flip flop while converting sr flip flop into other flip flop we need to use the excitation table of this sr flip flop so that what is the input we should have to get this output of the expected flip flop that is why excitation table is very much important and you can remember this excitation table so that without writing the characteristic table and then the excitation table directly we can 
use this table for further applications. Thank you.